Lake Mead is one of the most important bodies of water in the world. This lake, created by the construction of the Hoover Dam in the 1930s, supports and sustains over 25 million people throughout the American West. While the dam and lake have successfully been able to provide power and water supply to those it serves for many decades now, a storm of multiple factors have now put the lake in jeopardy, and thus the water and power it provides. This is What Happened to Lake Mead. The story of Lake Mead begins with the construction of the Hoover Dam in 1931. One of the greatest and boldest undertakings of man-made engineering and construction, the Hoover Dam was completed in five years, with at the time hydropower and the ability to control flooding being its main purpose. Known as the Boulder Canyon Project at construction, it's actually located at the Colorado River's Black Canyon. At completion, it was over 700 feet tall and as thick as just over 650 feet at its deepest point. After the dam's completion in 1936, it took roughly five years for what would become known as Lake Mead to be created by the Colorado River. The canyon would flood up to surface elevation depths of over 1,000 feet. When the lake reached its potential, Hoover Dam would provide 1 million plus horsepower and would be part of the engine that would fuel the growth of Las Vegas in the 20th century. In the following years, water levels fluctuated regularly at the lake. When the Glen Canyon Dam was created in the early 1960s upriver, the lake level would drop over 100 feet. However, the lake would fill all the way to capacity in 1983, using the Hoover Dam spillways for the first and only time. While the lake has never reached capacity since, its water levels remained relatively stable through the end of the 20th century. In 2000, it nearly filled to the spillways once again, seemingly giving the lake and the river a bright future, along with the dam's ability to produce power. Unfortunately, from this point forward, it would be nearly all downhill. In the following years since, most of the areas of the west that feed the Colorado River, which in turn feeds Lake Mead, have experienced drought. In most of these years, the lake has declined in water level and continues to do so, going from a peak of 1,215 feet in 2000 to around 1,040 feet as of this video. This decline has been exposed with what has been called the bathtub ring, clearly showing how high water levels used to be. The issues with the water supply have gotten so bad on the Colorado River that similar declines are occurring at Lake Powell upriver. Today most years the Colorado River doesn't even reach the Gulf of California anymore. And with water levels being so low, shortages have been declared, marinas have needed to be lowered, and power output has declined. So what has happened? It's been a combination of several factors. While global warming has likely caused lower snow outputs in the Rockies, the ever-increasing and growing demand of the populations of the American West has continued to strain the Colorado River. Cities such as Las Vegas, Denver, Phoenix, St. George, Salt Lake City, and others have all and have continued to experience explosive growth year after year, and all of these require nearly all or a very significant portion of their water supply from the Colorado River or its sources. Even though much of the water is recycled and returned to the river and lake, more people means more water has to be pulled away from the lake and the river at a given time. Simply put, too many people are relying on the same source of water that has become increasingly unreliable, with no slowing of either the population growth or the decline in lake levels in sight. Eventually push will come to shove for this lake, be it through a loss in power generation or a drop below the final water intake. It remains to be seen where Lake Mead goes from here. Thank you for watching.